everybody. Happy Monday. I am getting ready for work right now. Yesterday was Mother's Day. I did not post a video yes or I did not post a video today. I'm not going to today because my weekend was crazy. I did not have any time to edit anything or do anything really. <laughs> can't even remember what I did. Not. I literally can't think that far back. It's Monday and my brain is fried. But Saturday um, I was with Philly all day, or no, Saturday I was not with Philly. I was running errands on Saturday, like a mad woman. I had to go like a a all around, all around town. I had to do returns, food shopping, picking up things. Like it was like a whole day for me. And then yesterday was Mother's Day. So I hung out with my mom all day and we were up early for Billy's football game. And it was just like, I'm tired. Can you tell I'm really tired? <laughs> Um, but we're gonna have a good day, hopefully. Hopefully we're gonna have a great day. And yeah, um, super excited for the week. I have a wedding on Thursday, so I actually took off of work on Friday because it's just like, it's my cousin's wedding, so just, it's a lot. <laughs> um, so I took off for that. And I probably should have took off Thursday because it's like, pretty much right after work and I have to like really be there and like get ready fast but you know I didn't obviously want to take off two days that's extreme and I took off last week for my don't even get me started in that situation and then so now I have to take off again because I didn't wasn't able to do what I needed to do on the other day that I took off so if you didn't watch my last video go check that out because I explain what the heck happened on the day that I took off of work, I got nothing accomplished, so nothing actually happened. <laughs> um, but it was for my orientation for South Carolina, and they never sent me the link. So I was like sitting in a, I had an old link that they sent me, they never sent me the new one. So I was sitting in like an empty Zoom call, and I'm like, where is everybody? Me and Billy were trying to figure it out for like a half hour. It started at 10.30, so by 10.30 I was just like, I'm done. Like. Because if I go into the Zoom call late, I'm going to seem like such an idiot. So I'm emailing, I'm calling, I'm like, hello, what do I do? Help me. No one's answering because they're all in the meeting. And then after it was over, I get an email saying that I need to sign up again. And they were so sorry and whatever. So it's just frustrating because now I just take another day off of work because they're only on Tuesdays. One of them is on a Thursday. But actually, no, I think that's the one I'm going to do. I'm going to do the Thursday one because I'd rather... I don't know. I feel like I'd rather miss the end of the week. Like, I feel like the beginning of the week is like prime time. I don't know. Does anyone else feel that way? Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I look so tired. I don't feel that tired, but I look. So yeah, I have a bunch of craziness going on. Billy and I looked at um, invitations for the wedding this weekend. I'm actually going to order a sample. Hopefully I can do that. This morning I can order a sample of them so that I can just make sure that it's what I want and then order the real ones. Um, yeah, so today is Monday. Um, what am I doing? Why am I like flustered? Relax, relax. I like my pep talks in the morning. <laughs> today is Monday. I really don't know what's on the agenda for where teaching today. I have to kind of think back and remember what the heck I'm doing. Anyways, I'm going to get ready this morning and I will take you along a day in my life, a nice little Monday in my life. Those have been just like what I've been filming because it's just the easiest. Like I just take you along in my day and as a teacher, sometimes like what I do after and everything like that. So if you have any other video recommendations, definitely let me know because I just have been filming honestly what I like to see <laughs> um, but if you have anything else that you want to see let me know I will definitely consider doing different videos and I do want to do like a teacher interview thing something or other like that but I don't know I could do it I guess I could do it maybe I'll do that I feel like it's a little late though are people still interviewing let me know if you're job or if you're still on interviews or something like that and maybe i'll do a like nice little interview video okay i'm gonna finish getting ready i'm sorry i'm not like looking at the camera i'm just looking at me and 
I will see you in a little bit. Okay, I'm in the car now on my way to work. I'm not looking at you, but I was packing my lunch this morning and I go through like these days where I'm like, I'm gonna eat so healthy, okay? So today's one of those days. Um, <laughs> and then there's other days where I'm like, yeah, no, I don't care. What do I care? I don't care. And today is the day where I do care. So I woke up and I had bought like a um, salad spring mix, like in a bag, you know, over the weekend. So I threw that in there. I added some carrots. I added some like frozen chicken tenders. Now I'm at a red light. Um, I added some frozen chicken tenders. They're like already cooked, you know, and I just threw them in there and defrosted them. And then I threw them in there. And then, um, what else? And then with some ranch. So that is gonna be my lunch. And then I have dill pickle chips because chef's kiss. Um, okay, I don't love them as much as I love pickles. It was a great thought, but they're like just a little too much for me. Like, yeah, I drink pickle juice, but like, you know, the, the chips are a little too much. <laughs> um, so I bought a couple of those and because they're really actually low in calories they're not healthy for you but they're lower calories i mean it's 150 calories for 15 chips and that doesn't sound like a lot but like when you only bring i mean i don't sit there and count down each one but i get like a roundabout but i'm gonna go because i'm rambling and i will see you at school i am here i don't understand like <laughs> feels like i was gone for a while my frog is dead so he's the last one there's no more and <clears throat> that was the newest one that i got and then I have stuff that fell down over there, which is like so odd to me because one of them was like hot glued onto the wall. So I think honestly, I'm just gonna leave them down since it's May. Um, this is like such a bad angle. I have like no, no good angles in this classroom. All right, so we just got here. I'm packing all of my stuff. I'm gonna put my lunch down here and let's see what we have for the day. Oh, my poor frog. He didn't deserve it. <laughs> I have to put their homework on their desk. I make a homework packet for my kiddos because I just found it's like the easiest way to like give them homework every night. I feel like going through it every day is just like a hassle. So my Wi-Fi is down connect please we've been having like major problems with our wi-fi lately but let's see hopefully it connects all right while we're waiting for that our abc countdown to summer starts today so today we are going to be artists for a so i'm probably just going to put on a um what are those videos called like art hub for kid kid videos with like the dad and the son or daughter or i think sometimes the wife does it with him and I love them, they're so cute. So we'll probably do like a foldable one. So those are a little bit longer. And this is like a big thing. Like we do something every day. So I think that <clears throat> that would be good. And then we're not switching for foundations today because one of the classes is doing nice slot testing. So we are not switching. I have a worksheet, let me show you. It is color by sight words. Um, just a little something fun for them to do towards like the end of the year. Um, foundation starts to just like start to like not happen as much because of all the testing. So I have that for them today. And then math. So today our math is, I guess I could close this because I don't need this today. Um, we're doing lesson 26, session three, div understanding of 10 more and 10 less. So we did this last week and some of them are like really getting it really quickly and some of them are struggling. They're on the struggle bus. So <clears throat> a more practice with this would be good. The problem is that there's not that many like questions and I give like in iReady, they have like the blue pages, right? See the blue. Those are like what you do like whole class, like during the day. And then the green pages, you can choose what you want to do with them. So I choose to give the green pages for homework. So I don't do them in class because they never really, it's like very repetitive. Once you do one, like it's just like the same thing over and over again. 
So I just feel like they need more practice. I think maybe I can assign something on iReady. I'm gonna look at that because that would also break up the morning. Let me see. We're doing start testing this week. That's how we, we do it every month for our students who um, are below grade level, I guess you could say. And they're like in the red and the yellow. Um, <clears throat> so we're start testing this week. It normally only takes about a day. Uh, so we're gonna do that. I'm just gonna get it over with. Hopefully everyone's here today. You know, when you wanna test, not everyone is here. That's how it always happens. Our ELA today is, um, I can identify the importance of illustrations in a book. Illustrations show important information about the story. As I literally told that to you, I just got a message from a parent saying that a student is not coming today. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're doing illustrations. My mentor texts are The Silver Button, Jamaica's Blue Marker, and A Fine Fine School. All my kids know those books pretty well. So we're gonna quickly do that. And then today writing, we're going to start writing our opinion writings. We just finished narrative. So their job is to finish those before or no, yeah, like during morning work. So today we're going to do a shared writing together and I'm probably gonna do like, the best food is pizza and I'm gonna write it from my perspective. I don't actually think pizza is the best food but it's just easier than saying like French fries or I don't know, I guess I could do anything. But pizza, everyone loves pizza, right? So I'm gonna do the best food is pizza. Pizza is the best food because cheesy i love this stuff you know like things like that um so we're gonna do that today what else and then that's it and then just daily five and yeah and then we also have to do the abc countdown somewhere along the way i'll probably do that like before lunch yeah i'll probably do that before lunch all right on the to-do list right now it is 806 i have morning reading groups at 8 30 I have to pull up my math slide. Let me do that while I'm talking to you. Do, do. This is a real morning in my life. Like this doesn't get any more real right here. <laughs> I just sit here by my little self and I pull up everything I need. I look over my plans just like I did with you and that this is my life okay math slides good i have to email my principal my lesson plans my school does require us to send lesson plans i feel like i'm talking with a microphone what is wrong with me i don't think i meant to do that on purpose um, my school does require us to send lesson plans. Doing that, the untenured teachers, I know like every state is different, especially like figuring out like all of South Carolina's rules and stuff. So tenure is so different in New York than it is anywhere else I feel like. I feel like maybe like the East Coast over here, <laughs> like they all have like kind of like the same things, but tenure here is like, you it takes four years to get tenure and oh almost emailed the wrong person my plans <laughs> um it takes four years to get to be eligible for tenure and you have to be on a specific like tenure track so right now i'm technically on tenure track there's like probationary positions is what they're called and that's like tenure track okay so there's different types of um <clears throat> like positions you can get so right now i'm on a tenure track and what it is, is this is like, so this is technically my first year on tenure track because last year I was, I think like an annual or a leave replacement. I don't really know which one it was, but so here, at least I can speak for here. If you're on tenure track, then once you're tenured, like you're kind of like good to go for like ever, you know, as long as you don't do anything crazy. <laughs> um, but so like as a probationary position like all eyes are on you everyone's watching you like where are you doing extracurriculars are you not doing extracurriculars but so all on your on tenure teachers have to submit lesson plans every week and then like the tenured teachers i think have to do it probably i think like once a month or maybe just like a couple times a year i don't really know but that's what my school requires so yeah 
that's the stitch on that. Um, I'm going to send somebody another email that a student will be absent today. And then I'm going to go deal with my frog situation. I have to recruit my friend for that because I don't, I don't do dead frogs. Nope, not me. And I have to go fix the little things that fell over there. I'm probably gonna leave. I think the one is like how to wash your hands. I'm probably just gonna leave that down because I think by now we understand. And then the other one is a math thing that I had up there, number partners, which I am gonna put back up because my kids do use that. And then I'm gonna put their homework on their desk and everything else looks good. <laughs> so I will probably talk to you on prep. I meet with my mentee on prep. We take a walk around the school. She likes to get out like, you know, energy that way. So we're gonna do that. And then I'll probably come back in here and update you on how the day is going. So yeah, goodbye. Hello, I'm on prep now. Kiddos are at gym. We had a very good morning, actually. I will say they came in super quiet. And so I just kind of ran with that. And normally I go through like phases. <laughs> Let me explain. <laughs> I go through phases with like my morning time because I know like the standard is they are supposed to be coming in. And I even think it's like a school policy too, I think. They're supposed to be coming in quietly and then like eating their breakfast, doing their morning work like silently. And like, I get that because they're first coming in, like you don't want to get them all riled up. But I will say sometimes like they just want to talk to their friends and like, that's fine. So normally like when I like stand up, I tell them to clean up, they pretty much quiet down. But sometimes I don't mind if they talk and sometimes I mind if they talk, like it just depends on the day, but I know for them, like they need like something consistent. So normally we eat like a, we eat pretty quietly. They're allowed to talk, but it's not like silent, I would say, um, in the mornings. So today they came in and they were super quiet. My first group, like the first group of bussers that come are always so quiet. And then the last group are the ones, there's more of them. So they like always just are chatting. And I really don't mind it, but today they were so quiet. So I kind of ran with it. And I was like, the whole day has been like, we've been using a whispering voice, like a very soft voice. <laughs> and it's been so nice i have like not normally when i teach i feel like i'm pretty loud because i just want to be able to like make sure everyone can hear me so i pro not that i'm loud i feel like i project my voice pretty well but today i was just like girl you don't need to even speak any louder than how you're talking they can all hear you so i've just been pretty much talking at this level the whole day i mean maybe a little bit louder when i'm like actually teaching but i feel like I'm making like I'm making more of like a conscious decision to do that and it's been super nice um how I've been handling my problems like in the classroom lately well actually I would say for a while now I feel like are very productive I think I talked about this in a different video about how I wanted like conversations with my kids just to be always productive and you know I, I feel like there's always times where you're like please stop doing that or like what are you doing type things but so I just always try to be super conscious of like how I'm speaking and what I'm saying because like these things like, it like blows my mind, like how much of an effect teachers have, like obviously parents, like on these little humans and it blows my mind every day. <laughs> like I just always think about it. So I try to just always like have reasoning behind what I'm doing so that I can explain to them like how, like even for example, I had a conversation with them the other day because, oh, a student fell off the chair. Typical, right? Like that always happens. And what do us teachers always say? We always say, don't lean back on the chair. You're gonna fall, you're gonna hurt yourself. And so someone fell and they didn't hurt themselves, thank God but they did fall. So I kind of used it as a lesson with the whole class and I don't want you to think I was like embarrassing them. I, it really wasn't, but I was just like, you know, they obviously fell and it made like a loud sound. So everyone looked and I wanted to make sure that they were okay. So that was that. And then I was like, you know, my friends, like, I don't say these things to be mean. Like, I'm not trying to be mean when I tell you don't run in the hallway or don't run to your bus or don't run outside on the blacktop or you know, like, don't throw things across the room. I had a student throw something across the room this morning. It was a marker and he was giving it to somebody, but I guess he didn't want to get up. So he threw it and like, it wasn't like a, it was just more of like a nice little toss, but still. Um, so 
I kind of use it as like a lesson and I'm like we're like when all of us teachers say that to you we're not trying to be mean like it's because of this and I try to like give an example and like explanation why we're saying these things because I don't want it to just be like a one-sided conversation where they're like okay yeah we can't run like who cares but like no you can't run because this might happen this might happen this might happen and of course they still test your limits like obviously but I don't know that was like a really long ramble I don't even know how I got there but that's just my life <laughs> story of my life oh I'm gonna miss a birthday on Friday oh I'm not gonna be here on Friday I think I said that this morning but oh it stinks oh well maybe we'll celebrate on Monday too um so yeah let me give you a recap of the day they came in super quiet in the morning did their morning work ate their breakfast and then we did our morning meeting which was great and then we started foundation so i had just a color by sight word today and then when they were finished with that they went on to google classroom and on my google classroom i have a word work section and they did like a whole bunch of things it was like nouns verbs building words um synonyms uh, rhyming words like a whole bunch of different things that they were allowed to choose from and that was like you know once they finished the other thing um and then yeah so that was fun date like foundations not actually foundations but like our phonics time and then we started where we did math and we did 10 more and 10 less of like random numbers so like the first one is 47 so they had to realize that like looking at 100 to chart 10 less is above and 10 more is below so I taught, uh, we went over that. And then I assigned them the I ready thing that I showed you or I was talking about this morning. I assigned that to them. And yeah, so far the test grades are pretty good. Um, some of them are like flopping. I don't know why. I think it's just like taking a test on the computer. I mean, they're not awful, but it's just like some of the kids I'm like, wait a second, what's going on here? And when we come back, we're going to eat snack and we'll probably do our ELA lesson. And then I'm thinking we're gonna do our ABC countdown because, or I'm thinking about doing it after lunch or at the end of the day. But I feel like if we do it at the end of the day, it's gonna like, I don't know, I'm debating when we should do it. Cause I like to end my day doing like daily five. So I think I'm gonna do it before lunch or after lunch. I'm just debating if I, when I come back from lunch, do I want to teach <laughs> or do I want to just give them the video? No, I think we'll do it before lunch and then get all their crazies out at lunch and then come back and work. And then we're doing our writing lesson, which is opinion writing. So that should be fun for them at least. And they're not going to be like actually writing today. It's going to be um, a shared writing. So we're going to be writing together on the big chart paper. So I think that will be good um and i think yeah i did three reasons so they're gonna have to give me three reasons why i like pizza okay perfect so that'll be our day hopefully it goes just as smoothly as the morning has gone um still upset about my frog oh i also have to do star testing okay when we come back from lunch we're gonna do star testing and then writing There's a lot going on today. It's a Monday and it's cold in the hallways, but warm in here, which so I'm just like hiding out in my room. Not that I would be out in the hallways anyway, but it's a little chilly out there. It's a little chilly and I'm wearing a dress. Uh, so that's all the updates that I have for you. Um, yeah, I will probably talk to you at the end of the day and give you a recap of what happened. We'll see if I get any clips of me teaching. It's so hard to get clips of me teaching because it's like the last thing I'm thinking about, like literally ever, <laughs> is recording myself. So, yeah, like when they're in here, like I just don't think about this at all, <laughs> unfortunately, but it's just... The way it is like this is my job this is what i love to do and obviously i love to make videos and stuff but the kids and their education comes before any of that so yeah okay i'm going to eat a snack because i'm super hungry i don't know what my problem is i ate this morning any hoosies i'm gonna go and i'll update you later